No one did it, ever. This is really historic. I mean, I don't think this has ever been done before. I mean, since the 80s at least, or even in the 80s, I can't imagine even the biggest of drug lords ordering four different Koenig specials at once. I just don't think it was done. Each car would have been like 200, 300,000. Nobody was really that crazy, you know what I mean? So, not until now. So, uh, we're bringing the 80s back in a major way. It's the Padina Collective. So, enjoy this delivery video. So, all you're doing here? Just this window regulator for now, but look at this speaker. It's trashed, so. I've got pretty much every bolt out except for one. Sees into the into the door. I think that there's a shop just next door that's been helping me. There you go. Get the new one going in. We getting the shine back up this dusty looking motherfucker. To the extent that he wants it, it's doable. To the extent to get it 100 percent it gotta get repainted. I'd probably get it to like 85% of the way it is. I was wondering if you uh, got any fin tails. Nah, I'm kinda short. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so it's my birthday today, so I'm getting a haircut. If you look behind me, you will see a bunch of Koenig specials, and we never really spoke about how they got here. So this video right here, I'm gonna be explaining the day they arrived and what we're dealing with. very 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 special truck pulling up and in this truck is a very historic very very crazy package that you probably won't see in your life for Koenig specials that one yeah. push out with the white one accelerating the work properly the 107 SLC Koenig it runs kind of rough it was like misfiring and stuff when it was running it was really loud and stuff but beautiful interior. Drive? Not really. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my god. 129. Kunik from Japan with the scissor doors on it. The Lambo doors. I mean the car we got for a pretty good deal. It came out of Germany, but it was originally from Japan. It came with a bedazzled uh, instrument cluster. The dazzled shift box, whatever. I mean, it's kind of silly car. It has the, the stupid scissor doors on it. it. Came with no clear on the paint, so it definitely needs a paint job. The car is not really in running condition. It starts, it runs, but it doesn't really drive. So, you know, once again, another project Koenig just added to the list of cars that we got. No one did it ever. Did these all come from the same people? They're all from different people. All of them. So that blue Koenig, that owner, Hector, actually, very, very nice guy. He had that car for so long and uh, he took pristine care of that car. That car was amazing with his baby. And that car went missing basically in transit for 10 months. Usually these cars shouldn't take more than a couple months to get here from Europe. But you know, the Canary Islands is a very remote island. Not many people ship from there or out of there. But we finally got it out of there, but it took a lot of time. And the guy was sweating bullets. Hector was hitting me up every other week like, where's the car? Do you know where it is? I haven't heard about it. Is it okay? And then when it arrived and I was just going through all the damage and sending him all the pictures, he was just losing his mind. Like he couldn't believe what they did to this poor car. But nevertheless, here it is, you know. We're gonna hit these type of roadblocks and, and speed bumps during all these transportations. I mean, these cars are very, very wide. The bumpers protrude like crazy in ratio to like the front wheels. So loading them up and, and on and off of stuff is gonna be always hard. The problem with this particular Koenig, I think they used um, a forklift to lift it from the front. Why? 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 That's what caused the damage on the front bumper. Quite unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? I mean, that's what we're dealing with right now. What's wrong with it? Uh, he wants to get it off the trailer first before gas. Finally, the Sun King, which is probably the best car out of all of them as far as condition and running goes. That car just drives perfectly, runs perfectly. This is the Koenig Special Sun King, based on a C126 Mercedes 560. That wing is like, he? We got it. The roof's not opening right now. But yeah, no, it's uh pretty disgusting going looking seeing outside oh my when we first got it I couldn't figure out how to drop the roof on it for a while so I had the, the soft top on it for a few weeks until me and Anthony finally figured it out 
we have to put in the we have to put the foot brake on to be able to remove the soft top. The Sun King, beautiful car. The blue SEL from uh, from the Canary Island. The SLC and the R129. Big Koenig day. This is really historic. I mean, I don't think this has ever been done before. We're very lucky to be able to bring back the 80s the way we have. It.